Hi, my name is Rajat Ghai. I am an associate editor with Down to Earth Web. Today, on the occasion of World Snow Leopard Day, I'll talk to you about its significance as an icon of the Third Pole. Growing up as a young adult in the 1990s, I still remember the documentary shot by National Geographic on the polar bears of Churchill on the shores of the Hudson Bay in the Canadian province of Manitoba. The 1982 documentary showed how the little town was the polar bear capital of the world, how bears visited the town every year in hordes and their interactions with local residents. And not just me, but the whole world was captivated by those images. In the years to come, polar bears became the mascot of human-induced climate change around the world, especially in the two poles. However, the global cryosphere is not restricted to just the two poles. There is a third pole as well. The region is home to most of the snow and ice on Earth outside the poles. From this region, at least 15 rivers fan out in every direction across the Asian continent, providing clean water for a third of the world's population. Is it then time for another mascot, at least in these high mountains of Asia? one that the people here can relate to. That is where the snow leopard comes into the picture. Snow leopards are a keystone species for high mountain Asia. And much like the third pole, they too are facing obliteration. Experts believe there are now between 3,500 to 7,000 snow leopards left in the wild. They are classified as vulnerable in the IUCN red list of threatened species. Saving snow leopards will invariably help the third pole and the ecosystem depending on it. The third pole is a vital source of sustenance for one of the world's most densely populated regions and we require a mascot like the snow leopard to champion climate adaptation in this crucial area, says Kostub Sharma, Director, Science and Conservation, Snow Leopard Trust, Seattle. According to Sharma, despite the third pole's importance for biodiversity and ecological security and its keystone species, it has often been left out of public and political conservation consciousness due to its remoteness and sparse human populations. He believes it is critical for snow leopard conservation and human welfare to implement effective climate adaptation and resilience measures in the third pole. To achieve that, we must improve our understanding of how warming and the consequent melting of snow and glaciers will affect snow leopards and the third pole's indigenous communities. This World Snow Leopard Day, we should give serious thought to this idea. Indeed, we need several, not just one symbol or mascot of climate change. To know more about science, technology and climate change, visit the Down to Earth channel linked in the description below.